Hi, welcome to Asian Beauty Secrets. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw your brows. I understand we all have different shapes of brows and I'm pretty sure we all have our different ways of drawing our brows. But what I want to show you is uh, some of the, I guess, the stereotypical brow shapes that we see and you can replicate, um, as well as a way to embrace the own brows that you are given by God or your parents. Um, so let's keep watching. So these are the tools and products that you can use. Eyebrow pencil, concealer brush, concealer, angled eyebrow pencil, angled eyebrow brush, eyebrow powder wax palette, a spoolie, tweezers, and eyebrow scissors. The first eyebrow shape is a thin angled brow. So I'm going to use a brow pencil and start by filling in the gaps but keeping within my natural brows. Then at the peak of my brows, I'm going to angle it down and making sure that the ends are very thin. Once I'm happy with the shape, I'm going to go in and use a spoolie and blend the color out. Make sure you trim your brows with scissors and pluck out any stray hairs. To better illustrate this look, I'm going to conceal the stray hairs with some concealer on a small concealer brush. These brows will create a more mature, sexy and sometimes more serious look. And I prefer these brows when wearing a heavy eye makeup or a bright red lip. Just be warned, do not over pluck your brows as it takes a very long time for the hair to grow back, sometimes it doesn't. Also you can risk looking like this, commonly known as the tadpole brow. The next one is a straight brow. I'm going to use an angled brow pencil and having the tip vertically start filling the brows up until you reach the peak. Instead of angling it down, I'm going to keep it straight and fill in the bottom of the brow as well. Again, I'm going to keep the tip of the brow thin and blending the colour out with a spoolie on the other end. These brows will create a more youthful, innocent look and is sometimes seen in Korean dramas. I prefer these brows when I'm wearing minimal makeup, but make sure the colour of the brows is one to two shades lighter than your hair colour, as going any thicker or darker can cause you to look like this, commonly known as a scouse brow. It's fun to try all sorts of brows, but embracing and defining your own natural brow always looks the best. So I'm going to show you how to define your own brows to suit your face. Grab a brush or a stick and align the brush right where your inner corner of your eye starts. This is where the brow should start. Drawing your brows too close or too far apart can make you look funny. To locate the next point, it is in line with the outer edge of the pupil. Having the peak before or after this line can change the shape of your face. The last point is in line with the outer corner of your eye and the corner of your nose. Once you have the three points, you can just join the dots and fill in the gaps. I'm going to show you how to draw my brows with brow powder wax and an angled brow brush. These colors is an outline on how your brows should be, a gradient from dark to light. Using the brush, apply the brow powder wax and join the first and second dot. Then the second dot to the third one with a lighter shade. Then again, blend it out with a spoolie. To better define and create a more 3D looking brow, clean up the shape with a concealer. And that's pretty much it. Nice and easy. So I hope this was helpful and just to let you know that you know makeup is all about having fun. This is nothing crazy or permanent I and mean, you can always rub them off and do them again. Embrace what you have because I think you always look the best when you actually have your own natural eyebrows. It's because it's there for a reason. So anyways, I hope you enjoy this and um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!